Welcome back, this is the Jack, and today we got Gunfire Reborn, playing as the Prince, of course. I always play as the Prince, I don't really particularly care for the other characters, although we will play as them eventually, because we kind of have to, but that's for that's for another day. For us today, we'll take, what was that, 50% against Burning Effect. Not super great, but it'll do, it'll do. The Illusion's a fun weapon, I quite like it, especially when you get fire damage on it, and then uh, kill yourself with it. So it's a fun, it's a weapon that is powerful, accurate, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of ways you can scale the damage up on this baby. Although, uh, you know, not on this specific one, but on other ones. So we've had some pretty crazy runs lately. Unfortunately, they haven't made it to the end, but they have been quite incredible. We're not starting with the bow today, so I don't know. Maybe that's good luck. You know, maybe the bow is maybe the bow is my bad luck charm. Who knows? What are we getting for the first scroll? How, do we, how are we starting it? Snow boots, dude. Heck yeah. I'll take that. Snow boots plus the uh, the corrosive decay thing inflicted on yourself at the same time and inflicted on other people. That's pretty sick, I think. Because you wouldn't you wouldn't get the slowdown, you just get the speed up from it, so you you can get moving pretty quickly. I love movement speed builds, honestly. They're they're the most fun in my opinion. I mean, yes. Like, look, if Elemental Rage 1 is there, it's it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's, like, the most important thing that you can get, in my opinion. It busts every build by, like, 30% damage, just straight up. It's incredibly powerful. Is it just the one? No, there's, there's another one. Oh, we almost had a flawless... Fine, since we're not being flawless anyway, I'll just take some damage. Whatever. I don't think that's really even good. I think it's actually bad. I think it's... Well, I don't know. Because cause the thing is, is if you get the lucky shots more often, you're doing... The 20% like, the, 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 the damage is less important. So I don't know. I think it's probably good. Probably, like, at worst, I think it, it probably evens out and it only gets better from there, I think. So... I think it's fine, honestly. I think I think my math was wrong when I when I tried to to figure it out last time. I think it is objectively good in all situations. Cuz so I think that so you can even get past 100% uh lucky shot chance and get like extra damage on top of the 100%. So like with 20% you have a 20% chance to do 100% damage. With 100% you do 100% more damage. With 120% you have you do 100% more damage then have a 20% chance to do 200% more damage or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, like, honestly, none of these really matter, so. I think that's how it works. I'm not really sure. I don't really understand the whole lucky shot stuff just yet. Like, the math behind this game, I haven't, uh, I haven't quite gotten to the point of, like, we don't have anything worth upgrading. This weapon might seem like it's kind of messing stuff up pretty well, but, like, it's not worth upgrading. I mean, it's cheap, though, right? No, we need to save the money. Upgrade at the end. Never upgrade in the middle. Okay? That's my motto. Upgrade when you get to the boss fight just before, because that way you get to check out peddlers and stuff. You're not, um, I don't have immunity to, to slows, so whatever, dude. Slow me down. Slow me down, man, I don't care. I think I undervalue Lucky Shot Chance. I think I, uh, I think I am undervaluing Lucky Shot. I think that it's actually really good. I think that Lucky Shot might be a stat that you really want to get and use. Dude, I've never spawned here like this. What is this room? I've never seen this before. This is new. This is new to me. This is my first time seeing this room. What the heck? What, what are we even going to get? An elite horse head? You serious? Okay, I just gotta get you frozen real quick, and then you should not stand a chance. As long as I keep that up, it should uh, mess him up pretty darn well, I think. As long as he's... Uh, 
Oh, we're out of ammunition. That's that's good. You know. I've never had to fight the, the elite horse head. We're gonna get like an item from this, I guess, because uh, I've never fought him before, so it's it's kind of cool in that front. Can you guys like just stop for a moment? Just just like for one moment, you know? I bet I have some ammunition here now, though. Yeah, we're good. You are finished, buddy. There you go, okay. 25% damage dealt when your health is full. I mean, sure. Sunder? Fire Sunder? Why not, right? Why not? Sunder's fun. I mean, this is pretty good, but so is this, right? But this is pretty good. Reduced damage taken is always amazing. You know, if you can reduce the amount of damage you take, you can increase the amount of damage that it uh, takes to kill you, right? It sounds obvious, but like, dude, it's pretty darn good. I'd rather just have the, uh, the, the money. Rather just have that money. Lightning, it's not that great. Yeah, none of these are that great. Unfortunately, we're not really getting any uh, ball and weapons yet. I mean, sure. Wildfire is good. Especially with the illusion. If we're going to be going an illusion build anyway. It does do an incredible amount of damage, though. When you're able to line up those shots just right. Oof. Okay, I would love a. I'd love to move over to a more um, knife kind of playstyle right now, if you know what I mean. A knife would be really, really great right about now. You're doing some pretty significant damage. Not you. Ooh. When you when you get it lined up just right, oh baby, it does some good work. I was obviously not lined up, right? I was way too far away. Oh. The Sunder is fun, man. The Sunder is fun. It's, uh, it's, it reminds me of the bows in Monster Hunter. You know, you have to get that critical distance to make sure that uh, they all like spread out and hit as much as you can. And if you do it, they die. And if you don't do it, it does kind of nothing. Right? Doesn't it? Or can I just get right up close to personal? I don't actually know. No, it seems like uh, it, it starts off as two and then it does split. So you want it to be like right at that point that it splits for it to, to hit them. I mean, sure. We're going to be fighting Lou here with the Sunder. I tell ya, critical distance stuff on this dude, it's not gonna be an easy fight, but if we get, hmm, none of these are really that good, I mean, this is kind of, so I'll just take this and then upgrade the Sunder a couple of times to get a little bit of extra damage out of it and then uh, hope for the best. Really, all there is to it is just uh, pray. <laughs> I'm gonna start you off like this, and then, uh, oh man! It's actually really easy to get critical distance. It's just not easy to to get them all to be crits on him, but it is very easy to make them all hit him at all. That's all you really need to, to, to have a good time, you know? Man! It's just, it's kinda... Racking him though, eh? But I had the, the thing that makes it do the same type of damage. But I guess I don't. That's okay. Cause this, this, this Sunder is, is... 
really, really good against them. Oh, well, I guess we win this fight. <laughs> I guess we win. Um, I will take this over the illusion. I will take this. I should have taken the other one, but it's okay. Start of hour. After killing five enemies in ten seconds, your bullets will automatically lock on nearby enemies' weakness and 100% crit X, plus damage, magazine capacity, accuracy. I don't know. Which one's better? You think this or that? I don't even know, man. I, well, you know, we'll take this just because it's fun. Just for fun. What is happening? This is different. There's been an update, I think. Has there been an update? Is that what's happened here? You never really have to reload with this thing. Is the, the beauty of it. I love this thing though. It's fun. Oh, this, this thing's actually kind of incredible actually. Hold up. This is actually insane. You tell me I just unleash hell and it just auto hits everything and everything dies? You tell me that, that that's what's happening here? I just have to kill five things and then the rest of everything dies immediately? That's it, eh? So once, once I kill five things, then everything else just immediately gets annihilated. So there isn't like a cooldown period on it or anything like that. It's just um, kill five things and then all of a sudden you're critting 100% of the time. And uh, you can keep that uh, that buff up because it's very, very simple to do. Okay, hold up. This is actually kind of insanely good. I underestimated this a lot, but this is ridiculous. And that's, I think that's better than this. Crit X, like huge crit X and stuff. It's probably better than this under. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. This thing here is carrying, though. That's all that really matters. I want a better enemy to fight than this guy, though. If I can't find one, then so be it, you know? I think that's... Yeah, it's only four. This thing's kind of crazy, though. Auto crits, eh? Like, you, 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 you get those first five kills, and then the rest of everything just gets annihilated. That's kind of insane. Man, this 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 thing is crazy. Okay, get some ammunition. Wow. <laughs> um yeah. So I will happily upgrade both of those if we find a red chest that lets us. Cause if we can get some some good stuff on that, then like Ooh. We'll have some really good stuff happening. Um, but this is this is a really good this is like insanely good for clear kind of stuff. You know? It's insanely good for clear. insanely powerful it's fun though it feel it reminds me of uh, what was her name Maya or something like that from Borderlands 2 with the with the like they uh, they bounce off of the uh, the walls and stuff and then auto targets so you could just kind of shoot wherever you want and it would uh, kill stuff for you it's just insane Fire damage, burning effect, 10% lucky shot chance. I mean, this is probably better than this. Yeah, if I get if I get a um, 
A red chest will let me upgrade the star devourer thing. 100%. Oh, yes. This is great. This is this is a really good synergy with what we've got. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, this is not going to be that great on the bosses, though, is the thing. It's insanely good at clearing. Okay? But only clearing. Not very good at anything else. Like, boss fights, not going to be that good at. Unfortunately. It's not going to be just, like, annihilating everything immediately, you know? We're going to have to actually aim for that, unfortunately. You know. Oh, poor pity me. You know, I have to aim sometimes. It's just... Oh, it's kind of insane. If I feel like I'm I feel like I'm cheating. Like straight up I feel like I'm cheating. I do I do legitimately feel like I'm cheating. Okay, I don't have any really ammo. Oh, we got a we got a vault. Don't mind if I do. Now, ammo is a problem, though. Ammo's a big problem. Do we have auto-aim yet? No. We should after this, though. Kill you. I need, I need ammo. We're, we're, we're risking it a little bit here. Yeah. It was worth it, though, I think. Like, what the heck? What the heck? It's nuts! I've, I've never, I've never used it. I never thought it was good. I was like, whatever. Like, so you, so it auto-aims every now and then. No, it like, auto-aims permanently. It's ridiculously powerful. To an insanely ridiculous degree. Like, holy crap. What the heck? Alright, let's check out the uh, the peddler. See what he's got for us. And then... Uh, that's not really that good. This, however, will be amazing. So will this. Okay, so we'll take... Uh, instead of the scalpel, we'll take this thing. And we may as well just have that, because why not? This will be really, really good for, for the boss fights, I think. Um, it'll synergize pretty well with what we've got. You know what? This should do quite a lot of damage as well. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It does, it does some some pretty good stuff there. Can't complain about that. I've never failed that jump, and I hope I don't. Honestly. Okay, jump over this. I've also, never failed like up to here. Okay, first for everything. First for everything. I think I can just make it around this though. What do we got? What do we got? Fill the magazine instantly after using dash. Well, don't mind if I do. That's gonna work really, really nicely with this, because now we won't have to worry so much about. Because we can just kind of like, oop, oop, sorry, you know. Just keep on firing, and that's gonna work really, really nicely as well. So now we can just we can just continue firing forever. We we never have to stop shooting ever. We can just we can just boom. Oh no, I'm running out of ammo. I'm running out of ammo, dude. Boom. Never mind. Oh no, the ammo. Oh, never mind. And it'll just continue to destroy absolutely everything. Should be it though, right here I think. No, nope, I just want my. Can I have the, uh, the auto aim stuff, please? Where, why am I not like? I'm not even able to do damage, dude. What the heck's happening? So it doesn't actually. Reload it or something like that. So 
So it's not actually shooting at the speed I would expect it to. Which is terrible. Okay, apparently these guys can just spawn. I was unaware of that. I'm, I'm not particularly perturbed by it. Yeah, so it's not really shooting as quickly as it would appear to until I let go of the mouse button and then I think it, it continues to shoot at, uh, at a speed unheard of by, uh, by, by, by man ever before. Okay, this is, this should actually pretty much annihilate him. Yeah, okay, cool. That's why I want the, the knife, you know? It does a lot more damage to the, uh, it does more damage. The knife does more damage, is the thing. The, uh, the Star Devourer just does a ridiculous amount of damage and, uh, I'll upgrade the, the knife. We don't really need the, the Star Devourer to be upgraded. Um, it's not really necessary. Okay, cool. We got uh, we got some ammunition. I just have to get like a couple of kills, and then and then we're we're good to go. You know. Once we once we get the kills, then we we have the auto aim, and that's that's a beautiful thing. It's not. It might happen. Do you have to kill them within 10 seconds of each other, maybe? I don't know. Whatever, we'll just pop these. A lot of things going good for a knife right now on this build. You don't really need the start of our. Much as I love it. You know what? We'll just. This does an insane amount of damage. Star Devourer just does a, a lot of damage to... Um, so it's a, it's a clearing. But it's ridiculously good at clearing. You know? That's all it does, but boy. It does it really well. Okay, upgrade upgrade my... Uh, replace them all? Absolutely not. No. Give up a... Uh, um... Like, I don't really want to give up any of these. I like all of them, actually. I like them all. They're all good. Ammunition, please. Okay, here's here's the thing, okay? We desperately need this to start popping, okay? It's, like, super, super important that it starts to pop. Oh, you're a problem. We have, yes, we have it. We have it. We have, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We've won now. We have, we have cleared this zone. Easy game. They, they should get killed by AoE, I think. I'm just attacking this guy. I'm I'm praying, hoping, you know. Once we're once we're past this part though, the, the next zone, the, the, the third zone, doesn't really have much that can do much to us. So we're we're pretty much safe after that, but this area here is, is definitely pretty scary. So traps do half damage to us. So I don't really care about these guys. I'll, I'll be safe. I'll go now. Make my way through here. Okay, there's another one up here. Give me a... Again, all I really want in my life is... Uh, the ability to upgrade the normal inscriptions for this. Yes. What do we get? We got uh, lucky shot chance plus 50. No, we got either damage or lucky shot chance. I like both of those. So, you know, whichever one it was, I'm not upset about it. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
I'm, you're not, you're not going to see me complaining about that, honestly. I mean, sure, Fountain of Life, I guess. It's uh, better than nothing, at least. Give me some ammo. Look at all that ammo. Look at all that ammo. Mmm, baby. Okay, so we did get some, some pretty substantial damage upgrades on this guy now. Oh, we lost a lot of accuracy, which was actually helping with that clear because we were able to stand farther away and uh, deal damage while we were standing farther away. Shoot. Okay, that's actually a big problem then. Yeah, we actually can't use it anymore. It's not actually that good anymore. It was the combination of everything. You know, it was the combination of, of all of those things that were making this, like, such an incredible weapon. Whereas now, now that it's not there anymore, it's, it's not so ridiculously broken. Shoot! I didn't think that would matter, but evidently, super duper did. That kind of stinks. Oh well, you know, it is what it is. Oh, we got it, we got it. No, we didn't. Get it here. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna have to use the the knife. The knife's good. The knife honestly synergizes much better with what we've got going on too. I was asking for a knife. I got a knife. Can't complain, right? It's unfortunate that we lost the uh, the insanely good stuff on that though. I didn't I didn't realize that it would be that significant of a hit losing the accuracy. Um. But, you know, assuming we can ditch, nah, the thing is, is we have stability and accuracy now. So we, we lost accuracy and stability there. Which is, uh, unfortunately, like, a, a big problem for us. Because, uh, not being accurate is, is going to really get in the way. Of, you know, because we can't get close and we're not accurate. It's like... It's, it's just the worst kind of situation to be in, really. You know? You can't, uh... Yeah, no accuracy, no stability. Gotta stay far away. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Unfortunately, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I messed up. I messed up. That's okay. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It wasn't our, uh, our boss-killing weapon anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. But we will be looking to replace it, unfortunately. Such is life, you know. You live and you learn. I have uh, I have underestimated the 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 significance of accuracy and stability. I guess that's okay. That's okay. I mean, this this should also be totally fine, though. Is the thing. This should be completely totally okay. We're not going to have any issues with, with shooting this guy in the face when he's just, you know, this huge, enormous thing, you know? It's mostly these guys. So unfortunately, it's kind of switched around here at this point, you know? We were on, um, start of hour as, uh, as, um, clearing duty, and the, the, the other thing is the, uh, boss duty and unfortunately it's kind of switched here to a certain extent anyway I mean this is still a better boss clear though so the start of our is now a boss killer but not a good boss killer <laughs> so it's it's really it does it doesn't have a place unfortunately much as I love it I mean we'll be always making crit hits so that's tempting I'd like that, but like we just we've we've kind of ruined the start of our. I mean, I'll take it. It's better than the start of our, I think. So, like the start of our is just unfortunately not good. It's bad. If I could get rid of the the accuracy problems on it, it would be pretty good still. But you know, such is such is life. Oh, jeez, dude. Yeah, like, we, we get the, the crits, like, 100% of the time anyway. That That's going to be up, like, all the time. And this does fire damage, so it's... I guess I can be, like... 
dipping and weaving and stuff to, to keep the, the ammunition going. I can't quite 100% keep it up though. I think we have some fire damage from uh, like an ascension or something like that. You are a problem, okay? Insufficient ammo, my god. We went from like top tier clear to like mid tier at best. Super, super, super disappointing. Man, I, I feel so bad that I uh, I underestimated the, the accuracy there and, and got rid of it. I know it was random, like I didn't get to decide what went, but I did decide that we were going to risk something, and I would have been happy to have chosen to, to risk both of them even, to, to get rid of both of them and replace them both, you know? I have, uh, there's no defense for me. I just, I, I didn't think that accuracy mattered that much. And boy, does it. Matters a whole lot. We got, we got, we got, we got a good weapon here, though. Can't complain about this knife. It's a good knife. It's a good knife. Glimmering? It's nice. Alright. Toss that out there, toss that out there, and then just immediately dust them. <laughs> it was a, a scary one, but... It was definitely scary, but yes, it, it worked fine. <laughs> it was scary, though. It was really scary. Um... Like, this is really, really good, though. It's extremely good. Argus? Ah, like, I just don't like Argus. I know we tried the Big Hippo, which I also didn't like previously, and I was like, yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, the, the Argus, I've, I've, I've tried many times. I just, I really genuinely just can't get into it. Maybe, maybe we'll try an Argus run at some point, but... I mean, it's... Don't, don't get your hopes up. You're actually, like, close enough to do some damage. Which is a scary thought. Yeah, the, the knife's doing fine. The knife is doing totally fine for clear. Okay, don't get cocky and approach. We have to stay back. We've got our invincibility relic here. You know? Let it do its thing, okay? Let the invincibility do its thing and make you invincible, okay? Don't get arrogant and approach. Willy nilly. I mean, you gotta approach at some point, but uh, do it safely. Approach responsibly. Yeah, some lucky shot chance would be nice right about now, too. Okay. That's what I meant to do, actually. I meant to do that. Ooh, burning. Burning. That's, that's big damage time there. You're done. You're done. You're dusted. And by dusted, I mean, um... I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna be around for a while, because I just can't kill you. You know what? I don't mind getting up close and personal to you. I'm not scared of you. He doesn't scare me. One of those guys? You can't hit me, man. You want me to get hit by that? Nah. Now, multiple of them? Yes. Terrified. Terrified. Why would I throw that at you? I just don't even get it. Like, just why? Dude, that does an insane amount of damage. Like, the... Just just the, the energy orb is, like, one-shotting those guys, basically. Kind of nuts. I 
I got a very strong energy orb in this build. I love this invincibility thing, but like I feel bad winning with only it. Because like the only wins we've had, and this is probably going to be a win by the way. Like now that I understand this this thing and I understand how to play with it, like I'm probably not really going to be dying once I have it. Too much. Um, like I could still die on the final boss, like on the, the ship, but... Um, I'd, I'd be fairly surprised. I don't really like this thing either. I mean, they do share the... I don't know. I don't know. What I would like is a, um... I'll tell you what I'd like. What I'd like is a, uh, prism. The, 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 the corrosive, the decay, uh, knife with, um, sharing the stuff. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, sure. Why not? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't take that. Hmm? I'd like that with the uh, the, the the share the the weapon damage type, because then we get fire and decay on it, which would be pretty cool. But you'd have to have, and we'd have like the, the still have the the bonus to the first thing in the magazine, and you know, all this kind of good stuff that uh, is making this one so dang good. This is not an insanely powerful run though. Only just good. We're just really tanky. You know, our DPS is not that high. You know, when when we've had these other ones with the the, the high, like we were doing like 10k hits when we had the the high survivability stuff, the tanky immortal stuff. Like we were doing, we were doing like 10k, 15k hits, right? This one, not 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 that good, not that good. <laughs> it's good, but it's not it's not to the same degree of. Incredibleness. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, but not really worth it, I don't think. I mean, take movement speed. I'm always down for some movement speed. I like moving quickly. I just I can't resist it, you know? I don't think it really provides us much in this run, because uh, we're already, like, immortal. With or without the movement speed. Being able to retreat faster or whatever, I don't think it's really going to make that much of a difference to us but um like I just I like moving faster it makes the game feel better why would you move close to it huh just why oh my god this perk this this thing we got with the spreading the, the elemental like proliferation stuff it's uh it's a lot better than I thought it would be because it, it's spreading that burn which is then doing some damage on its own, but then also uh, allowing us to do more damage to everything nearby. So like, we don't have to worry because we're not burning them yet. Okay, we've got them burnt, but like it might take a bit for us to get something burning, you know? Whereas with this, it's just everything, we get one thing burning and then the rest of everything just kind of melts, which is, uh, is good. That's what you want to see, right? You want to see stuff melt in a way. And that's what we, uh, that's what we have the pleasure to see today. See this? You see? You see in this? Let's get one of these guys burning, and then they all burn. And once they're burning, they do a lot. We do a lot more damage. Now, do we have um, elemental effect chance on crit hit? Yeah, yeah. We do, we do have on, on burning, so we have to get them burning. So we should be going for crits. I wasn't going for crits, um, cause I didn't think we needed it, but. Now that I see that we, we do actually want it... Oh, dear lord. Now that I see we actually do want to spread specifically burn. Um, absolutely, I'll be going for crits to, to get as many burning effects as I can. I, I wanted to just get the, the explosion stuff going on, right? Like that was my previous goal, but... It seems like it is actually important for us to get uh, the burns off with the crits. Because you, whether you crit or you don't crit, the the explosion still does the same damage. I believe. I don't believe that is a, affected by the uh, the crit or not crit. Whatever, dude. Whatever, man. What are you? Uh, nah. It's not that great. It's not that great. 
The Guy Fieri gun. I like it. It's a fun gun, but that one's not that great. That's not a great Guy Fieri gun. 80% fire damage? Dude, don't mind if I do. We're committed to fire. We desperately need fire. I'll tell you that much. Whatever whatever gun we move to for the end game, if we do, it's uh, it's got to have fire on it. I love not being reliant on crits, though. Like, yes, we need to crit to get that uh, increased damage stuff going on, but at the same time, as long as we have the fire on something, we don't actually have to crit. Which is, uh, is very, very nice indeed. Alright, what do you got for me? Like, I really don't want to lose the normal inscriptions on this. They're good inscriptions. Obtain damage in the cult scroll. You wanna? Resolute. Sure. Why not? I don't really think it's that good, but... Um... Since we're gonna be going for kind of like this immortality kind of stuff, maybe, maybe it's good, right? Once we're out of armor, we'll be doing a little bit more damage, and... We still won't really be taking damage anyway, so... The only issue is... Are we ever gonna get to below... <laughs> like, are we ever not gonna have armor? Like, that's gonna require we... Like, take 95 damage. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but like... Come on, man. It's not, it's not likely to happen. You know? It's not super likely. I want, I want that thorns thing. That's, that's really where, where the fun comes in with this, in my opinion. It's with those thorns. Cause you just, you just let him kill himself on it, you know? You're dead, dude. Didn't even stand a chance. Cause these guys suck. When you have to crit them. When you're like completely reliant on crits, you do like nothing and then you crit and then everything dies immediately. These guys suck. I hate them. Where are we going? Over here? Hello. How you doing? Ouch. Bruv. Kappa? Gotta go. This guy? Gotta go. Weird lobster dude. Also gotta go. Finally got the burn off. Oh my god. Okay, we don't have any armor. So there's 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 that, right? That's fun, I guess. See if we can keep that up for a little while, maybe? I don't know. Could be fun. What do we get from it? What does it do? Resolutes. Resolutes. 50% movement speed. When armor... Shield is... Uh, yes, we wanna... You know, get rid of my armor. I wanna see how fast I can move. Okay, so this is this is normal movement. Get rid of my armor, dude. Actually, I don't want you to do it. I'll stand right about here. Maybe a little bit closer. Get a good shot off. Get a good, get a good shot off. Don't, don't, don't stand too close to me though, because that scares me. Look how fast I am, dude. I'm so fast. Oh my god. I love it. <laughs> it's fun. All right, on to the boss. Let's fight the boss. We got a lot of money. We can buy stuff, upgrade stuff if we want to. You can dance if you wanna. Um, ooh, nope, wasn't what we needed. That's garbage for us, because we reload after every shot. So nothing in there that we need. Just up gonna just gonna upgrade that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll 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 try this out. So at the start, we don't really have to worry about anything. We can just tank it. 
P2, don't really have to worry about anything. Again, we can just tank through it. Um, the scary part is P3. P3 wants the um, P3 and P4 once the things come out. That's that's when it starts to be scary. But uh, this part, completely unperturbed. You know, I, I can just I can just tank right through all of this. Just doesn't doesn't hurt, man. Does doesn't really hurt. I mean, it does some damage, but like we can recover that pretty well. I do still want to kill these guys though. And uh, we will dodge because I want to get into the habit of dodging. Honestly. I want to be in the habit of it as a uh, for um, future kind of stuff. To not get hit. Is, uh, is, is a good thing, I say. Oh, we didn't, we didn't freeze him, we didn't freeze him. He didn't get frozen. Okay, so here's, here's the scary part, honestly. You know what, I'm actually gonna allow us to recover our shield back up here. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm gonna though, I think, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And I would love to. To just have uh, a little bit more shield restoration kind of stuff going on there. Okay, this is the part where it gets scary because now we start to get. Uh, now we start to get minions like normally, not just on the, the off phases, you know? There are minions spawning all over the place here, you know? Gotta be concerned about that. We have uh, this guy down here. You have to be concerned about. Cool, cool, cool. I'd like to be dodging as much as possible, just to get into the habit of it, just to, to learn how to do it, you know? I don't know how to dodge those though. Those scare me. Nice victory. I mean, that's really easy when we have this 90% uh, redu reduced damage taken stuff. Like it's it's <laughs> really not hard. Um, that does carry pretty pretty darn hard. Anyway, there's uh, there's another win. So far, I have only won with that one thing though, which makes me feel bad. Because it doesn't feel like I'm really winning. <laughs> you know, we haven't we haven't really won yet, but we're getting really, really close to being able to do it. Unfortunately we just keep getting it on the good runs. Not that that was a really good run, but so be it. Um anyway, that's gonna do it for today. I we did we did pretty good on that fight, you know. Like I obviously took a lot of hits and tanked it and like it saved me a lot, but I might have been able to make it. I'm not sure. Anyway. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.